Do you really think that's what the virus looks like? What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Shine PB Media. I'm your host, Jared, co host Chris. What's happening, y'all? And we got two special guests today. We have Nathan PB, what's good? And Al Biriel. What's up, everybody? And for today's video, we're doing a podcast. Basically, it's a recap of 2020. We'll start with the beginning of the year, which is COVID. The Mamba, the goat, the goat himself is gone. Bro, that was crazy. Like, I didn't even believe it at first. Like, yeah. when TMZ posted all that stuff, bro, yeah. I was like, there's sure no way. It was fake. There's no yeah. way. Yeah. Especially yeah. that they were the first ones to report it. Like, and they're, they're not yeah. Yeah, like, trustworthy. Yeah, exactly. and there was like three different stories to, about it, too. Mm -hmm. First, it was like just Kobe. Then it was like eight people. Then it was like four people. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know what to do. Yeah, and I heard they, like, with Rick Fox, too. Like, there was oh, Rick yeah. Fox in there. Like, yeah. Like, just different yeah. stuff. Yeah, like, at first, like, G like they didn't say that Gianna, his daughter, was like in the helicopter with him, and then yeah. later on, like he we found that out. That was crazy, bro. It caught me off guard for sure. Oh, I was definitely. It, it caught the whole world off guard. Yeah, yeah. Like I, that's what crazy, bro. I was like, what the heck is going on? And like the way it happened too was like kind of crazy to me. Yeah, like a helicopter crash. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's like a disaster. That's like, like a dis. Yeah, it's a disaster. Like you don't hear people tragic. die like that. Like. That's insane. Like, Definitely wasn't supposed to happen. Yeah. Right. It's crazy too that like, that's how he got to like every Laker game was like through mm -hmm. his helicopter. And like, I always think about like, like this happened like after his career, you know? Mm -hmm. Like this was his like transportation to like every game. Yeah. Like what if this happened while he was still playing? Yeah. Like that's so that would have been even crazy. Yeah. But regardless like the fact that how that's happen. how it happened, you know, like this early on in Kobe's life, like he's still young. He's yeah. done a lot. It like, makes you wonder like what really happened, like if, cause he's been doing this for so long. Yeah. Like he's been taking helicopters like everywhere, like him and his family, like to gain, like during his career to his games, now after his career to his daughter's Like games, everywhere, like, that's their like mode of transportation. So, like, they don't drive why around. all of a sudden, like, yeah. like what happened this time? It makes you, I mean, there's a bunch, you it can get into think, conspiracies and stuff sure. like that, but I mean, like, it makes yeah. you think like that, like, why, yeah. like. You know, of all, like, Kobe was the one yeah, in that helicopter. Bro. And I don't know all the details, like, I don't know if the pilot was a different pilot or, like, I know it was bad weather, though, right? Wasn't yeah, it, like, it was like a really foggy day. Foggy day. day. Yeah, you so know? that was probably what. And I think it was his, like, normal pilot. Yeah, like, it was. He always yeah. used the same pilot. Oh, okay. So it's, I think that's another variable that like happened like oh it's my same pilot like i trust him so like let's just go yeah yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so it's easy for them to just go you know and regardless that's like one of the things that's like impacted me the most in my life for sure. like just because of like how much i idolize kobe you know, like that one's like single moment kind of like woke me up yeah. like, not just kind of but it really did yeah. wake me up to that's like see like different <laughs> perspectives like of just life, life is short you life know, is like, short it can get taken from like, you at it's any kobe time. man you would think someone like kobe is like untouchable like something Facts. like this can't happen to someone of that like, like standard you know like happen. you wouldn't believe like, like he's one of those guys you believe that lives forever like, yeah like, like you can't imagine le losing kobe yeah like, like it's just something kobe at like kareem's age exactly yeah, like, and like these that. guys like jerry west kareem are outliving kobe like it's just crazy to me that like shows you that anything can happen yeah and you get it it's, it's yeah. sad i feel like that impacted like everyone's life like mm -hmm. like regardless of who you are if yeah. you're a kobe hater mm -hmm. whatever, if you weren't even a laker fan yeah even I'm if you weren't a basketball California, fan yeah. like because he's way more than just basketball like his yeah, will yeah. to inspire people like to like live their lives like to the fullest like don't stop trying never settle for where you are now like keep pushing yeah like it's even more than basketball like i'm sure he affected way of more people than like just that mamba mentality mindset like yeah like, that reached out to, to like everything. such a big population yeah. Yeah. yeah it's really crazy yeah after I mean, like watching like that whole documentary thing too when he, like, he won the oscar and stuff like oh, yeah. that inspired me a lot too like even going forward like even if I'm not even playing basketball anymore, like, it inspired me to do other stuff, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's crazy, man. Mm -hmm. It was for sure, like, hard to deal with for, like, a good two months. 
Yeah. Like, even now, it's like, bro. Like, I still think about Kobe every day. Like, yeah, yeah, like, that dude's really gone. Like, it's yeah. crazy. And, like, what I really wanted to see is, uh, like, how, like, women's equality and, like, women's sports, <laughs> like, how Kobe would have impacted that, like, mm-hmm. because of, like, his daughter, yeah. like, going into the WNBA. Yeah, like, for sure. when they have, like, a figure like that going into, like, yeah. that's not something, like, like, almost all these NBA players, like, their kids are sons. They're going to play mm-hmm. in the NBA. Mm-hmm. Like, Kobe's situation was, like, different. Like, he had a daughter who was, like, she was going to make it. Yeah. You know, she had that skill set. So, it's just, like... She was a bucket. You know? That's true. We're that's not going to be able to bucket. see what, like, yeah. what Kobe would have done for, like, women's basketball. And, like, women's, like, equality in sports. Because yeah. I feel like that would have changed a lot of things. Like, seeing Kobe attend WNBA games. Yeah. Like, I honestly people feel like would want to... might have even would have wanted to have been a WNBA and coach. coach. Yeah, yeah, that's coach what I was thinking like, too. Like, 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 to coach your daughter and like facts. that. Yeah. Are, like, and it's a whole different like yeah. field. Like, I feel like that even motivates him even more to be like that mentality again to like yeah. win. Yeah. Because like, like he already did what he could. Yeah, like, it's like another goal yeah. for him mm-hmm. to do. And like, that's that's what makes Kobe special. Is yeah. that like, he the doesn't stop yeah. when he accomplishes something. Like he always wants to accomplish more. Exactly. Even after his career, like, winning the Oscar. All we can do now is just live that way, that mom mentality way. Like, mm-hmm. And going to any situation, just remember yeah. to have that mindset. Remember yeah. he's watching down on us, like yeah. wanting us to push ourselves. So. I think it's been goosebumps because that's literally what we're doing right now. It's like, yeah. like, like he would want us to do, do what we're this doing. Yeah. at 110%. Like, mm-hmm. put we would our want us to challenge it. ourselves and like, mm-hmm. you know, accomplish more. Yeah. yeah. You know, to never be satisfied with what you have. Facts. It's crazy. What are you sad, man? What a cry. I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Before All right, let's start. Uh, let's let's move on. Let's move on. All right. So, what we got up next? Um, biggest part I think that affected twenty twenty was uh, COVID nineteen. So good, bro. Yeah. So I mean, what were you guys' thoughts on like when it first happened, like? For me, I thought it wasn't a big deal because, you know, it was like, it was like all the way in China. China. Like, so I was like, oh, we're straight. And all of a sudden, like, like, like 50 people brought it in. And then all these people just, more people get infected and more people got infected. And then now it's like, staying at home like all day. Those to show you how many people don't wash their damn hands. Yeah, that's true. I don't wear a mask. Yeah. Well, me, like. I feel like I'm part of that small group that claims they had it already. <laughs> I have a feeling I did have it in January for sure. Same. same. <laughs> like I've like, I've never been sick like that before, and like I'm pretty sure, and we all had it at the yeah. same time. So yeah, I think I'm part of that same, group that bro. that had it, bro. Like I remember, like we texted, like, bro, I'm so sick. He's like, oh, I'm sick too, and then I remember, I'm yeah. sick too. Like, I, oh, almost sure. everybody. All, Send Everyone like Snapchats sick, of like our tissue boxes. Yeah, and, like, yeah. that's it. We yeah, were all sick. sick, so like, yeah, but, like going like from then, like going forward, like, like how it like the way it affected me. Obviously, I haven't been working since they closed down like everything. Like I haven't been to work in like three or four months almost. Yeah. So actually, that's what March, April, May, June, July, like seven months, bro. <laughs> Damn. Um, sitting on unemployment and stuff like that's a minute to be out of work and like I'm not doing anything I've just been at home like especially and I don't want to get my family sick either like my mom and my dad and like because they weren't sick when I was sick so at the time like these first few months I was definitely inside like Mm 24-7 but now like obviously things are gradually getting over I mean, that's how it affected me. Um, yeah. For, for me, when it first started was, like, uh, when we saw it, I think it hit the big stage, or the big stage as a media, and, like, we really got to see it first glance is when, like, the NBA shut down the games, like, midway, like, midway during a game, or, like, mm-hmm. I think it was, like, Pelicans versus, versus OKC. Yeah. Like when they yeah. like they were about to play and they yeah. just closed it and sent everybody home back to their their locker rooms and everything. So like just seeing that on a big stage like the NBA yeah. like made was like, like made me realize like oh like this is a big deal. Yeah. Like, yeah. 
Like I was, I remember I, I was at a, a bubble shop with Chanel, like we were doing homework. And then I saw that and then like, I just got paranoid ASAP. Like I was like looking around me, like the people yeah. around me, like, oh, like I need to go home right now. And then like maybe within an hour, like I got an email from uh, PCC saying that the rest of the semester is online. Yeah. So I was like, okay, I'm going home for sure. Oh yeah. yeah. So like, that's how it started for me. And like, that's how it made me realize like, this is not a joke. Yeah. All I saw on my phone were like different notifications about like the NBA getting shut down. And, like Rudy Gobert with the coronavirus. Yeah. I even think I was probably texting you bro. Like. Yeah, I think you were like, I was, I was just like, like freaking out. we were so surprised at, like what happened like, Yo, like they're really shutting everything down. Mm -hmm. Like for them to do that, like well, all these businesses getting affected, and not just businesses, but like people in general. Like mm -hmm. it has to be pretty serious if they're shutting down like yeah. the entire I country. Think, yeah, and even before the NBA, I think it was uh, like Tom Hanks announced it that yeah. he yeah. had it first, and then it was the NBA. I think, yeah. or if it was the NBA then Tom Hanks, I don't remember, but it was one or the other. Yeah, to really like oh, put things into perspective. That yeah. And like saying like I got like that email from school mm -hmm. that like think, like the following day was gonna be like the last day of instruction yeah. and then we all know. like yeah and at first I think they said like we like they weren't gonna have school for like two weeks mm -hmm. and then like we were gonna come back uh -huh. and then like they oh, sent yeah, another email right. and then they're like yeah it's shut down for the year yeah, yeah like that's tough bro that yeah was... so maybe like even they didn't think it was like that. Big of a deal. Yeah, for you know, sure. Like, like, would you guys rather for sure be going to school than like online? Uh, learning wise, yes. Personally, yes. Yeah, like, like hands on. Yeah, like learning, learning the material. I would rather physically be in school. Yeah. Because you retain that information better. Yeah. But as of just like, like my time and responsibilities, like virtual online classes benefits yeah. me. Yeah. You know, it's. I just feel like I get lazier. Yeah. Because it's online. Mm -hmm. Like. That's why I can't do school online. I for know for a fact that I would not turn in any assignments. So much yeah. procrastination going on. Yeah, I would, yeah, I could. Because like, even when school was like still was was still going on, like I think I I, I took an online class and I knew for a fact like I was gonna fail that class. Because right <laughs> like I like I just needed it for the credit, but I was like I'm gonna fail it because like if there's no physical person in front of me, I can't like. I don't know, like focus. Yeah, I can't focus. Like, I, I need to physically, like, look at the person and like have like conversations with mm -hmm. them. If I have questions, it can't just be like, you know, like, I mean, like, you have the Zoom calls, but I feel like it's not the same thing yeah. for like for me, yeah, personally. Like, no, for sure, because like, for the, for the virtual learning, like, I honestly think it's way more self-teaching than like you're actually learning. Like, you are yeah. learning, but it's so hard to learn over a Zoom call. Yeah, yeah. I feel like. If there was like a survey between like like for students that are online, like if you're not stressed and stressed, I feel like ninety percent of students are like stressed because of like online and like yeah. Cause like like even when I'm with Teresa, like I can tell she's so stressed out from like yeah. learning online. Cause it's hard to learn it online. It is like, like you can't like ask. I mean, you can ask questions, mm -hmm. but like I just feel like it's easier when you're in person. When you're in person, it's like focus, focus, you can, yeah, raise like, your hand, raise your hand yeah. or you could just stay a few minutes after class and yeah, hey, professor, exactly. I have a question. Like Can't now, it's that. like you know when you're in a virtual Zoom call, like when you ask a question, everybody in the class is gonna hear what you gotta say. Yeah, it's, it's it's hard. I know it's hard for sure. Like just seeing like you guys and Teresa, it's, I know for sure it's hard. Yeah. Uh, how do you guys basically adapt to it? Like you know since it's happened but obviously i follow the rules so mm -hmm. i want like i follow the rules so the world can be opened up again like mm -hmm. yeah i want to stay home and just be quarantined like let everyone quarantine so this can go away so we can get back to our normal yeah. lives but some people don't know how to listen i mean just yeah, <laughs> but, yeah. You know, like <laughs> before like this thing started like dude like i wash my hands like pretty frequently like when I do stuff anyway so like doing this is like it's natural it's just like now like a uh, custom accessory that you bring now is like where is like your mask like you bring it to hand the store or outside hand sanitizer yeah. like those wipes whatever like that's like an essential piece now that I think like that we have to adapt to like we have to have that stuff for yeah us. Like, but I think like moving forward too like we shouldn't just forget like everything we learned from COVID 
Like, I think moving forward, like, everybody should still keep a hand sanitizer in their car. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, whenever you go to public places, like, like those are things that, like, we just take for granted. And, yeah. like, we just live our everyday lives. Like, we go a whole day, like, well, Without not that. us, but, like, <laughs> some people, people, you know, yeah. they can go, like, to the grocery store. They can go to, like, the mall. They can go get food and, like, not even wash their hands in between. Yeah. yeah you know, it but now, like, yeah. it makes you think. It makes you, know? you, for sure, more aware of your hygiene and stuff. Yeah. Like, like once this is over hopefully whenever it's over like it's it'll probably make us way better like now, yeah. now we really won't catch nothing because everyone's not, not yeah, gonna yeah. want it to come back yeah you know so. i think can, like just carry on these habits yeah like it will help us in the future you know yeah. maybe, maybe we can prevent something like this from happening again yeah hopefully yeah that's true yeah i just stayed home and kept my distance but i mean obviously now we're like it's yeah. not as bad so like it's obviously just, we're they, together it's yeah. still like you still gotta keep your distance like while in public yeah but it affected like the outside world like places Everything. shutting down yeah. like you know especially yeah. with like your business going on like i know that could be tough since like since yeah. it was in the beginning like not being able to go to, like thrift stores and stuff like how was that for you guys like, yeah i know for sure thrifting had to be harder i would say over 90 percent of our clothing is not from thrift stores it's outside resource Oh, so yeah. like it's a good thing too because we're not taking away from uh like people that need thrift stores like that that, sh yeah. that shop at thrift stores yeah. so yeah um at the end of the day it didn't really affect us mm -hmm. at all yeah if anything it was like it was normal and like as of customers wise like it was probably higher because everyone's yeah. on their phones yeah, yeah. shopping online yeah, yeah. So, yeah shopping think, online yeah. if anything it was our highest point of yeah you know, having sales yeah i know for sure. a yeah. i shopped way online so much yeah. more. <laughs> i spent a lot of money shopping online. yeah yeah bro like i for sure i've i probably shopped this is probably like the most i've ever shopped online like ever yeah. amazon yeah crazy yeah um, bro oh, isn't that that's dude worth time. like that's, yeah so much oh my god yeah we're not gonna do it. he needs to donate to charity <laughs> For me though, like, yeah, don't any Facts. I feel like, yeah, I had to shop more than I normally would online because I'm that type of guy that like, I need, I'm a big guy, so like, I need to try the shirt on and see if it fits me or not. Uh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Or like, these pants, like, are they too big, are they too tight, like, like, I know you can just reship them, give them like a new size, but like, that's so much extra stuff that you yeah. have to do. Yeah. And like, I know in the beginning, like, uh, how it affected me, like, Bro, going to the stores, like, in fact, you guys too, probably, like, going to the stores, like, the lines are just crazy long. Yeah, because people are losing their minds thinking the road is going to end. Yeah, yeah like, right. that is true. Like, I guarantee you those people that bought all them toilet paper still have it, like, for no reason, bro. Like, bro, now you just got hella <laughs> toilet paper in your house for no reason. Bro. Yeah, that's, that's one thing that affected, like, the outside world. Like, just yeah. the resources, like, a lot since so much businesses were closed down, like, it limited us to all going to Target or, like, yeah. Walmart. <laughs> Like, all getting toilet paper from one place. Yeah. And, like, you just kind of... I couldn't get toilet paper for two weeks, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm over here wiping my butt with paper, paper, towel. paper towels, bro. Yeah, dude, I got, like, baby wipes. Or, like, I went to, like, those big, like, like bulk stores, like, like Sam's Costco. Club. Yeah, like, Costco, Sam's Club. Like, the lines were long. And, like, mm -hmm. like, yeah, you had to go early in the morning. Or, like, you weren't going to, like, get anything at all. That was crazy. I mean, it, it affected it um, in a lot of ways with with businesses, sports, mm -hmm. etc. Like the NBA was not in yeah. session for like how many months? Yeah, I feel from like, March to like what October, right? Yeah, yeah. it's, it's a, it was a, long time. It's a good like like it was a good test for our nation. Like, yeah, you know what I mean. Like, obviously we're we're advanced enough to adapt to mm -hmm. a virus yeah. like this like obviously like with the nba and like mm -hmm. like even like the oscars and like the emmys like stuff like mm -hmm. that like giving a, they're doing award shows through zoom and stuff yeah. so like yeah it's good it was like a good test for us like we know we have the resources and the the technology yeah. to adapt and yeah. like do yeah. do what we can still have our regular lives like we wouldn't just mm -hmm. be shut down in our house like so yeah it, it was a good test like yeah yeah you know, to and, show that we can like adapt most yeah. people follow the rules but yeah yeah, yeah. But yeah following up on like what he <laughs> said smart people know yeah like for me like what nathan said it didn't really affect me as much because like how you said we don't really like get our 
inventory for thrift shops like they're mostly from outside sources like you said and i think like if anything like covid like actually brought more benefits or pros to to the page mm -hmm. because like just like little things that we have to do like make deliveries mm -hmm. like because of covid and there's no traffic like that's like an aspect that made it easier yeah like all right we're back again more technical difficulties it's our first video, yeah. first, first podcast, guys. Just bear with us. <laughs> we're we're going to get it down eventually. Just, yeah, you know, it's it's the beginning of everything, so it's going to happen. It's a process. Trust the process. Trust the process. Trust the process. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. All right, so, I mean, like, it's been a while now since COVID's been a thing. Been in a couple months. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, how, how do you think, like, your mindset with, like, everything that's been going on, like, you focusing on, like, the really impactful stuff that's been happening during yeah. this COVID time. It definitely gave us time to appreciate, it makes you appreciate your loved ones, mm -hmm. especially with all the people that have passed away from COVID. Mm -hmm. Like it makes you think about that and it makes everyone focus on situations that impact everyone. Like it doesn't, that people aren't focused just on themselves yeah like, and that gets shed light on or yeah. that doesn't get shed on shed light on enough enough exactly mm -hmm. like because we live we, everyone has their daily lives you don't always have that yeah. time to focus on something mm -hmm. bigger than yourself yeah mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. this has allowed us to focus on things like yeah. blm black lives matter yeah stuff like that yeah so blm like cha uh child trafficking yeah like, that's yeah. big especially sex, right yeah, now sex trafficking oh yeah, yeah. Sex yeah. yeah. Child abuse. Yeah. Child abuse. Like, yeah. So it makes you focus on situations that get thrown under the rug. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, like that you don't hear about too much. It's mm -hmm. relevant, but it's not relevant enough. Yeah. To like make yeah. a difference. Mm -hmm. so. And that's like I think a positive that yeah. like COVID brought. You know, yeah. we yeah, we sure. take things like for granted mm -hmm. and like we appreciate the little things that we should that we should take in, into yeah. account you know like you get so caught up things. you know yeah the everyday lives so, so like you get a break from your daily yeah. life and you yeah realize so was, like this it also is, gave us a break like mentally you yeah. know just to sit down and like think about stuff mm -hmm. yeah. so reevaluate priorities and yeah stuff. like there's not there's it's not all just negative you know about mm -hmm. covid like a lot of people see it as just like yeah. you know just something that hit us and that you know but there's like if you look at it in a positive way there's some like you know some good things to take out of it what, what do you think the future holds for like the rest of this year moving forward like 2021 like there's a vaccine out i know that i ain't taking I'm no taking vaccine it. bro i'll go wait I'm a couple months taking for that the vaccine, bro. Wait, there's actually a vaccine yeah it there's supposed to supposedly I mean, I don't know how I feel about it. Like, I mean, maybe if it was like a couple of years, like, cause I usually vaccines take like years, like at least five years, like for them to like test it and all that. Like it's been like not even a year yet. Yeah. All so, I know like, is every time I get a shot, I get sick right after. That's, I think, isn't that, I think that's, I mean, how, that's like, like the point because they're yeah, technically they injecting inject the virus you in you. Yeah. So you're so immune that, to uh, it. Yeah. So like your body like releases that. Yeah. So that you like so basically like when it does release that like you get you get sick. You'll like, be like a few antibodies days after that to because fight yeah. It. Like it's they like inject you with it. It's, yeah. It's, yeah. So they inject you and then you build antibodies to fight it. To, yeah. So in the future you won't. You will. Yeah. You can get it still, but it just won't be as harsh. Yeah. Or you have a less chance of getting yeah. it because you already have like something fighting it I probably inside still won't me. take I was, I'll just stay inside I'd rather stay inside than take I'm not gonna take yeah, I stupid. it's a rush <laughs> it's, a, it's a rush to vaccine yeah. bro like I get people have been asking for a vaccine and stuff but like yeah. they need more time on it I feel like it's still it's a good time still like stuff is like opening and like you know you still have like those outside scenes and I mean, like, yeah. it's gradually growing back up. Yeah. yeah. So I feel like for the future, like, hopefully, you know, we can dine in again. Or, like, you know, people just got to follow freaking rules. Yeah, like, exactly. yeah, just like point blank period. Just moving, moving forward. Moving forward, just 
fuck Jack, just follow the rules, just follow wear a mask, rules, keep your, like, out in public, keep your distance, like, that's all you gotta do. Keep some hand sanitizer, just adjust, yeah. bro. And there's, like, now there's not even that many, like, limitations anymore, really, like, a lot of places yeah. have opened up. Yeah. yeah. You know, like, the only things we don't really have is, like, the other, like, things that we don't really need, like, Disneyland is closed, mm -hmm. like, yeah. We can't go to concerts, sporting events, but those are the are yeah. yeah. Like we don't; those are things that we don't really need. Yeah, what you know, we, like we can live without those things. Exactly. Like, like every, what we need. Is what open. we need is open, like yeah. grocery stores, restaurants. Yeah. Like, you know, we still need eat. We still need resources. So those places. So those, are yeah. Right. So yeah. So just follow cool. the rules, and you'll be straight. Yeah, yeah. and like, like <laughs> it, it will get back to normal if you yeah. just you know if everybody makes that sacrifice yeah. you know like we all want to get back and start going back to disneyland yeah. and all these places but you know yeah, it takes it takes effort from everybody like if only half of the people yeah, are like this following gonna, these guidelines like we're not going to move <laughs> forward at all it's not gonna it's like resolve over <laughs> yeah time, yeah exactly this it's a yeah. pandemic yo like it's not gonna yeah be solved next month exactly you know? like, it's like a pandemic like, it's worldwide like it can't just be like this population following the rules yeah. and this is not like you're not we're not gonna move forward yeah. with anything if not exactly. everybody is you man, know on the same page don't vote man that's what i say i didn't want to say this but just follow the rules stop protesting wearing a damn mask bro <laughs> just wear the mask bro how hard is it to <laughs> so everyone's wearing the mask how hard is it to wear a mask in public. Bro. Yeah. Why is it a bad thing to I don't like do you not want to protect yourself? Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Well, obviously why, no why it's real. Like yeah. it's, it's obviously real. Like you've seen the numbers in every country, how many yeah. numbers people have like how many lives have been lost. Mm -hmm. Like why are you protesting that? And like you do you want the virus and like bring that to your family? Like yeah. is it not real enough for you until yeah. like it, it's like that it's until like they get yeah, it, yeah like, until you get it until you know someone that got it, it yeah and you're like oh wait maybe i should wear a mask like yeah obviously but like it's not fake we're not doing this for fun yeah <laughs> they wouldn't make every single <laughs> person in the world do that mask. for no reason like it's not a fashion accessory but yeah. like, it's for your own safety. i mean shit if that's if that's how some gonna get someone to wear it use it as a fashion that's accessory true. you know like, like if that's what's gonna get you to wear a mask it's like, for your safety and others and others like, yeah it's not i've never understood that like it's not it's not just to follow the rules. So you know? so in conclusion, <laughs> wear a mask, wash your hands, follow the rules. Yep. And we should be good. Like you know, stuff should it it should it should it should like blow by in like mm -hmm. the next year or so. Like it yeah. would have blown. It probably yeah. be, we'd probably be way more like like where we are now. We would have been already if people just follow the rules. Yeah. Like yeah. things would have been open already. Yeah, so like every other some, country. Yeah, every yeah, so yeah. They might have safe. less of a population than the United States does, but they got their whole country to follow the rules. Yeah. yeah. And they open and stuff. Yeah. So like I just why feel can't like we do yeah. the same. Where we live, it's just so bad. Because like I feel like Our in other countries, country. like everyone's like got that on locks. Like, like I don't want to blame crazy. the reason why people are hard headed, but we all know who's fucking <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to that. Make sure y'all vote, man. I'm just saying. But, yeah. <laughs> what a year. What a year this has been. <laughs> For the sake of your family, like you're you're not trying to catch anything either. So like yeah. it's comfortable. Like but still like, you know, when you go outside, wear a mask, wash your hands and do like the normal stuff you would, like on a regular basis, like even before COVID, like yeah. you should be doing you stuff be like doing that. Yeah. Sorry, another technical. It's not a technical. Dude. <laughs> it's okay. It's our first run, man. Yeah, man. We're, it's we're, a learning process we got. But thanks yeah. for tuning in. Um, yeah, this is gonna be a regular right thing for us. We're gonna try to do this. Uh, comment down below what you guys want us to talk about or anything like that. Thanks. Um, yeah. Make sure you wear a mask and make sure you guys vote, please. That's very important right now with everything that's happened this year. Uh, make sure you're registered to vote. Please do vote. You might not think your vote matters, but it does. So uh, make sure you do that. And yeah, stay tuned for upcoming videos and content. Appreciate you guys being here. Thank you. See ya.